So I made a video regarding keeping yourself warm inside a tent. People have said that there's concerns about carbon monoxide released through that and possibly poisoning and death. So what I want to do in this video was do a test and see what carbon monoxide levels would actually uh, show and what how much carbon monoxide is actually produced as a result of using this propane tank and the propane heater. So let's get inside the tent real quick. <laughs> So let's close up this thing. So for this test, what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna have the exact same situation. So how we normally camp when we use this tent is we keep the heater on this corner of the tent. And as you can see, we crack that open for ventilation a little bit. And as you can see on the, on the top of this tent, as mentioned in the previous video, there is mesh with the rain fly on the outer wall. So with that, we also crack about this much, maybe a little bit smaller as far as ventilation goes. So here's the setup. So we got the propane heater. I'm gonna hook up the hose. Uh, we have it on a wool blanket here. And we got, I have a, a smartphone set up here. So I'm gonna do a little time lapse. And then over here, we do have a carbon monoxide detector. Now, I did not just get a regular carbon monoxide detector that beeps really loud when, low, uh, when high carbon monoxide is detected. I actually picked up the one with this LCD screen which actually shows how many parts per million um, carbon monoxide is detected. As you can see, they show the different levels of uh, carbon monoxide that's detected. General low level or safe level would be 50 parts per million. Mid level is between 50 to 100 parts per million. And then a higher one is above 100 parts per million. We're at zero. And so let's hook this up and then let's set this up and then we're gonna do a couple of trial runs. Now to prevent any possibility of leakage, you wanna make sure that the seal is firmly tight. So now um, we are planning to do this test overnight. So we are gonna stay this night here and uh, set this off and see how it goes. And we are looking at doing it at between medium to uh, full power. So first we're gonna open the propane tank. So we're gonna put on the pilot. leave the carbon monoxide detector actually right in the immediate vicinity of it. Typically we would be around here so we would be worried about carbon monoxide going up to that area but we're gonna actually uh, do it in favor of more sensitivity and put the detector right next to that. As you can see the time lapse is running. Got our monoxide detector right there. Heater turned on. been about an hour and it's still at the level we started with All right, let's 
see. Still at zero. Time lapse is still going. About 50 seconds elapsed in time lapse time. So about 50 seconds in, you should see my hand in that video. So that's after one hour. No uh, carbon monoxide has been detected so far. Um, and it's zero parts per million at this point. And this level staying the same. So what I'm gonna do is now, I'm gonna step out and come back in about another hour or two. All right. So in, that, in the meantime, let's close this up. <laughs> And as you can see, we're cooking right now. And we're gonna enjoy our food in a bit. But we'll be back. So let's check out the detector and see what is going on. All right, so as you can see, time lapse is still going. It's been an hour and 52 minutes. Zero parts per million still. It's running. So this carbon monoxide detector, as you can see, that's where the sound comes out and detector goes. It uh, hasn't picked up any traces of carbon monoxide yet. And it's been two hours and we've been uh, having this at full power. So it's on high and we are not seeing any trace of carbon monoxide yet. So I'm going to check back in another few hours or so and see what the levels are at that point in time. But so far so good. All right guys, so it's about 7:35 right now. And we're going to go check on the heater. You can see it's still going strong. And let me get this focused. So as you can tell, it's still at zero. Hasn't picked up any uh, carbon monoxide, no trace. The evening um, to see if there's been any changes. Um, so until then guys Good morning guys. Heater still going on. Still at zero. No traces of carbon monoxide. As 
as you can see with the heater going at full power for about 16 hours we've used up about a quarter of the tank and no carbon monoxide traces at all and uh, the setup has not changed it's still the same I actually closed this uh, last night too just to uh, see if it would trap in any carbon monoxide if it did leak but the final result is basically that there is no carbon monoxide being released uh, from this heater as a byproduct of the propane burning so so all in all that gives us an idea of what the levels of carbon monoxide and what dangers there are in uh, using a propane heater inside a tent now I just want to re remind you guys that this is an experiment based on this specific propane heater in this specific tent. Uh, this is the Aria Kingdom 6 and this is the My Buddy Portable Heater. Even though this uh, test has proven to show that uh, there is no carbon monoxide danger, um, you should take every precaution if and when using a propane heater inside your tent, um, such as making sure the seals are securely, tightly sealed, uh, making sure there is ventilation inside your tent and that you follow all directions on the propane heater. So guys, I hope you found this video useful and informational and in getting a better understanding of using a propane heater in an enclosed environment. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a message in the comment section below. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.